Okay, here with Coach Stuart McMillan, we're talking all things drop-ins today. Coach Stu, why do you like using drop-ins as an acceleration tool so much? Yeah, probably for a couple reasons. Number one, obviously it takes away sort of the first few steps, right? You don't need to generate the momentum coming into the acceleration. You kind of just drop into it. So rather than sprinting out of a static position, we can sort of drop the center of mass into it. And it's, the first step kind of replicates the fourth or the fifth step of a more static start. So it gives you then the time and space to be able to explore bigger, more open ranges earlier in the acceleration without having to generate the force to get into those. So I find that we can, people can explore that and are more comfortable exploring those shapes when they can just drop into it. Now obviously we do have to come back and do a lot more static accelerations afterwards and we normally do that in within the same session. So we'll do some drop-ins and we'll do some more static starts. But I really like the drop-in, especially for people who require that space and time to be able to feel, you know, the bigger shapes that we're asking them to, to feel. And second, it gives a destination for when we are doing the more static starts to work towards, right? So if you're driving somewhere, you need to know where that's where is before you just start driving. So if your body's hit these shapes and these positions and these spaces that you want them to, to hit. Now the body's been there, we can come back, go from a more static position, and we've been to the position that we want to be in.